drink in there, Chief. Stag Jr. Ooh, sorry. That was oh, genuinely my not hands. You, you, like, I thought you were gonna keep moving it, and so I started to pour it, thinking I was about to hit a target. Well, you're seeing, is the camera, is that mine? Yeah. You sure? No. Hey! <laughs> thought I was losing that pen. It's up. All right. All right. I started <laughs> hopping around like a bunny rabbit. Cool, don't cut that. New video, well, obviously. That's embarrassing, I just you know jumped like two inches. Yeah, your vertical is not impressive. I really, like halfway, like crouching up, I thought I was gonna take this Ooh, shelf in the back. Terrifying. So I was like. <laughs> just a decent amount yeah, of Yeah, I was like, oh, that's like really close just as some, I'm like pushing off. Yeah, some was, money, not can, a lot. I can jump higher than that, people. Well. All right. <laughs> Got it. That was the exact same weird. <laughs> what? Well, see the edit. Hey. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Yeah. 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 We're, the bourbon, We're junkies. the bourbon junkies. I can't. I can't do this with his echo tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And tonight we do what I like to call a good idea. Bro. Cheers. Cheers to. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right, cheers to you. I'm pretty sure it was Skid McMarks. <laughs> <laughs> cheers to mean, Skid McMarks. That's an incredible, that's an incredible name. That's some sweet baby Butter. Jesus whiskey. God. That's some sweet baby Jesus whiskey right there. Are those Jesus tears? Oh, I've had a sip of mine Me and too. you've had three gulps. I still have more in mine than you, so. That's disgusting. I know, I should have it all. You've already had six gulps. Anyway. Tonight, we had uh, Skid McMarks. I can't. Anyways, he decided, you know guys, why don't you do your uh, top five disappointments Listen, of we, the year? We are not one to not complain about whiskey. Because we do that a lot. We may be the only people who bitch about whiskey on YouTube. I don't know, we're one of them. There aren't a lot of people who are openly uh, Mm, disappointed. Let's call it disappointed. So, this is our top five disappointments of the year. Oh! I hope that that was a perfect hand for the top five disappointments of the year. So, these are whiskeys that were hype beasts, that were, um, our expectations were high. They don't necessarily have to be rare or expensive. Some of them are, but they didn't have to be. Yep. For real, number one. Well, number five. Number five. It's like, just like I said. Yeah, I had to get cut. Number five. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't even Number know five. What it is anymore. Jim Beam Repeal Batch. And do you want to know why? Not because it's $18 a bottle. Nope. Not because it's Jim Beam. It's because of uh, Rate Heater. Uh, where's it at? Okay, I thought you were going to be able to find it. Ah, right there. Right at the top. Sorry. Does I really it, thought it was on the bottom. Does it say limited edition? It does say limited edition that would be prohibition mine. repeal tribute. Hey, Jim Beam, we'll buy a lot of your stuff. You slap a limited edition on there, you know what you did? You took your normal Jim Beam, and you put it in a limited edition bottle. Seemingly. And that's what's limited edition. Before you complain in the comments that they're different, I'm sure they are, I right? I guarantee they are. How different? I don't know, you're, buying, you're comparing a $15 bottle to an $18 bottle. The, the fact that you throw a limited edition sticker on it, listen, I know we shouldn't buy into the marketing, but I do, so it's not a big deal. We have almost every orphan barrel ever existed because of marketing. <laughs> Number four. I believe it was. Yeah, so this one, Rockville Farts. Listen to me right now. Okay, don't, don't oh. shit on us right here. Buffalo Trace fans. Big us. fans. Huge fan. When we got these bottles. We love you. I squealed. Oh, I was so excited. I said, I can't believe we got more Rock Hill Farms. One of my first loves. Oh, okay. Not Daniel. a big deal. Not a big deal. Like three videos in Dude, a row. You're really why? having some I space know why. issues. I you like, need to go your eyes checked. Motion detecting you need is your eyes off. Checked. We love Yish Taylor's. We love Mashville 1. We love Mashville, Mashville 2. 2. We love DTAC. Yeah. We love Pappies. Mashville 2 is probably our both first loves. Rock Hill Farms is yeah. like the first expensive bottle I bought that so, I like really yeah. liked. This goes back to didn't meet our expectations. We got this one. 2018. 2018. This is a 2018 bottle. So here's the here's the the part that makes me feel okay about this. 
We didn't love it right away, so we're like, okay, maybe we just had a weird expectation. You let it open up. I had a 2016 16, probably yeah. bottle of it. We did a little AB, and yeah. I was like, 2016? That's what I remember. Sure. Like, that is an Beautiful. amazing. Amazing. I like it more than he does, but he does. I was still sad because when we put them next to each other, it's they just not aren't even close. the same. Not even close. I would have an Elmer T. Lee before I would have this this year. Yeah. I'm not, exclude every other year, it's 2018, it was 2018. Elmer T. Lee over Rock Hill, Elmer T. Lee's $25 yeah. less. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah. It was, it, that was our personal that was number four. disappointment. It was, that was a disappointment. It doesn't have to be yours. Yeah. All right. Number? Trey. Three. We're getting into podium territory here. We're getting into uh, what I like to call ultra Shh. disappointment range. Yeah, I was going to say different words. Oh. <laughs> okay. Profanities, mostly. Yeah, you probably saw this video pretty recently. Monday. I'm pretty sure you can watch me Monday. cry in this video. This is one of my favorite videos Sean's ever been in. <laughs> which is like all of them. Oh, Sean yeah. called this poop whiskey. I thought that was getting cut. No. Jay was in the front, I was like, there's no way. Yeah. Like, this is a cut frame. I'll trust him on this one. We got different like, palettes. Whoa, whoa, it's more leathery now. Oh, right. that's weird. Okay. Awesome. Here's the thing. Well, $45 was the actual retail on this. So this goes back to personal disappointment, really. <sighs> we came off Knob Creek. Uh, we had some excellent single barrels. Three of them. Three, okay, three. I've only had three. Excellent single barrels. All great. All of them. Fantastic. They were. Then we get they a Knob Creek cast drink right. We're like, holy shit. One of the best rides for 80 bucks ever. Top three, I would say, for sure. We came off those four yeah. and then into this super high. I was so excited for this. That's the issue. This is the issue. 2018 was the year of Knob Creek Rye, tricked right? Me. 2018. You tricked me. Was the year that Knob Creek decided to go. Uh, Rye's blowing up too, just like bourbon is. We got this. Knob Creek went. <laughs> just a giant one yeah. with their first two things. They started doing Knob Creek barrel uh, select rye. They started doing Knob Creek <laughs> cast strength rye, and they started putting these cool little fiddly bits, as the whiskey vault calls it. Fiddly bits. That's what they call them. All right. They started putting those on bottles, and you know what I thought to myself? You guys are absolutely yeah. killing the game. Yeah, all those other ones were this, they and were. that was the dingleberry on the back. This the was back. the one that was after the cold pool. Yeah. This was uh, that. This was George and Seinfeld. <laughs> I was in the pool! <laughs> so the issue with this is the hopes were high based on the other things. The cast rank's like 75 bucks. A lot of those store picks were like $55 for the store pick rise. This was $45, so $10 less. It's 100 proof instead of 115, like the store picks are, and it's significant. It just it worse. seems so much less refined worse. than the other ones. It all culminated to the fact that this was such a letdown out of yeah. their entire series Dude, of the year. You guys are knocking it out. Why? Like it just feels like it's unrefined and young, and it feels like it wasn't put together well. Unfortunately, at all. We had high hopes. We wanted to like this. This is one we really wanted did. to like. I 100 percent did. Right. I bought that in good faith. Yeah. Mind you, 45s, I get not a lot. It but is, uh, you're killing the ride game. That's our video. You're not competing in your price point. True. Very true. Which one did we this one? We did. Listen to me right now. We may not have the same palettes as everybody else. Neither does Fred Minnick, because he put Peerless top five. So I just I <laughs> I'm head down in this. This was something that we were so excited for. I, I, I don't think I can even convey how excited how excited we were for this. We like a lot of Elijah Craig products. Mm. Oh, you and I have a you. We do. Sean and I differ on very specific things, not a lot of things. Yeah, I would say. So I like a lot of Elijah Craig products. This one, we bought before we did our advent <clears throat> calendar. One hundred and fifty ish dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars. This also contributes yep. because we screwed up. Both got busy, never got to open this. So we did all 24 plus days of our advent calendar. We're pretty whiskeyed out for a while. And then we're like, hey, let's just take a couple weeks off. We've got videos, we coasted. Sure. We came back and we're like, hey, I'm super excited. You know why? Today's the day we opened this. Dude, we were, we were on a train of excitement. <clears throat> we, we opened had it. it. I could have punted this on the roof. We tried it again. Hoping in hopes, grand hopes, grand illusions. You know what it tasted like? <clears throat> the exact really same thing. 
what, what did we compare to that was better though? That's the important part here, because it's findable. The, uh, the barrel proof. Its own brother. Yeah. The issue with this is, this to me is already over oak to 18 years. I didn't expect that, but it, it's over oak for me. And then I'm they not, have five years. On the other side of the, the flip side of this coin, I'm not a huge Elijah Craig fan. I was ho I'm also not a huge Weller fan. And we both loved William LaRue Weller, oh, right? Oh, so I was I was kind of oh. hoping that their, their like best their, offering, their big boy bourbons would have been, yeah. been the one that I'm like, I don't that's love, I don't love yeah. their shelf stuff, but the stuff that's like allocated and hard to get is incredible. Yeah. I didn't have that experience. It's cool. But also, you know what a huge disappointment is? Your new labeling, Elijah Craig. Yeah. Way to have a huge letdown Ooh. on the fact that your new label looks, in my Awful. opinion, Worse and more like way worse boardroom. It, uh, lo it looks more like corporate. Moving on, passing this, the only bottle in 2018, actually for real, the only bottle that we this, thought. This one was actually hard. Um, this one is a culmination of everything combined. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Biggest disappointment. And what year is it? Uh, 2018. You you want to know why? See why. PB. It's all you people out there that are paying $300 a bottle for a $49.99 bottle. I don't even think state minimum was actually $30. It, might, it actually maybe was less. like $40. Um, okay, we paid $50, which I'm actually happy I'm, with. I'm perfect. I'm, I'm, we paid the, the right amount. Word? I'm uh, grateful we yeah. paid 50 for this. We paid the exact right amount for that bottle. Sure. This is a bottle. Realistically, I don't know if we'll We're ever gonna drink all of it. We're going to awaken some people on this. I don't um, know if they are. You're... <sighs> don't buy this bottle for anything more than $50. $75. Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> like. So the only reason I say it, so so let me explain something really fast. I'm going to just dismantle his point here and like. You're not, because you're going to agree with me. You're going to pay 300 ish on secondary. For a bottle that was super hard to find, right? It is. In, 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 insanely allocated, blah, 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 blah. Weller did this thing, Crafty Perfect Bourbon, everybody took the survey. Problems with the survey in my head that you could take it multiple times. People took it to mess around and try to like figure out how to get different answers, which is going to then sway the results, yeah. right? Also, thank you, Red. I, I believe this is, I don't know. It. There's no age statement on it, but it's definitely not two years old or four years old, right? No. So it's uh, older than I, that. I would guess eight to 12. So here's the issue though. The The problem with that is they had you take the survey, I think two years ago or something, maybe three years ago, whatever it was. And then they rolled out a this, 12 year old bourbon. This basically. whiskey isn't yeah. two or three years old, yeah. right? No. So this is a kind of like a pre-designed, we're gonna let you feel like you were involved. This That's issue number one. Issue number it's two is- It's definitely a shelf bourbon that they rolled out and saying this is the people's bourbon. Sure. Issue number two is, it's an annual release, and I don't think a lot of people know that part. This is released every year now. Yep. Weller and Buffalo Trace have said, this comes out once a year, every year. Yep. Here's the thing, it's not BTAC, it's not Pappy, and as much as people are paying for those, people are overpaying for a lot of things secondary. This is one of the higher overpaid things. I would put this Off up there with MSRP the MSRP too, yeah. I would put this up there with the Pappy 23. Ooh, That's not I mean, worth the $2,000, $1,800. So, but I'm saying is we've never had a discussion about paying 300 for this. Yeah. So, it's not a $300 whiskey, it's a $50 whiskey. It fits in that line incredibly well. Can't wait for this. Instead of ever buying this. $300? Yep, yeah, you buy a, oh. a bottle of this and a bottle of this. Is that 160 secondary? Um, so usually if you can it's find- 160 secondary. Around 100, around 60. <laughs> you mix them 60%, you mix it 40% into one bottle. Poor man's you know what pappy. you have? You have poor man's pappy. Yeah. You know what it beats? Weller CYPB. It for sure beats that. You know what? I never thought about that. This for, forgive the uh, the labeling on this. This was we, the empty fifth we had, so that's the yep. empty fifth we used. Yeah, yeah. You're right. I agree with you. You could get two bottles of poor man's pappy realistically for one bottle of this. Oh, The easy. difference is this is cool to have on your shelf. That's true, right? So it's true. It's the only white Weller, like white uh, label Weller. It's kind of like a white whale. This is part of uh, fear of missing out. We all have it. Do not. We have it. Yeah. We have it a lot. We have 100%. it a ton. We've Do bought a ton of Do not let people whiskey. talk you into spending $300 for this bottle. It's not worth it. 
I, I feel like uh, we had valid reasons for most of these. We leaned heavily this on- This is our least valid reason? <laughs> it was just our, your most heartbreaking reason? Yeah, our disappointments. Yeah. Um, this is our top five disappointments, just like it was our top five whiskeys. Yeah, we're, we're not, all right, he is. <laughs> We're not claiming these are the worst whiskeys of We're 2018 not. in any way, shape, or form. We're just letting you know what... You're still doing it, aren't you? I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. We're just letting you know <laughs> what we weren't a fan of this True. year. We're not saying these are the top five worst whiskeys. No. These are our top five I mean, most that, disappointing that might... whiskeys. <laughs> both, both of these might make that list. Yeah. Okay, but for real, uh, yeah, this is it. If you have a problem with it, I'm not sorry. You get it, man. You get it. Everyone's got their own. Dude, pick your own, man. You don't have to like what we do. But if you do, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching. God. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. And if you're not, please do all those yeah, anyways. For real, though. Subscribing helps a lot. Uh, yeah. Commenting helps a ton. Yes, it does. Liking helps a lot. In that order. <laughs> We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. I'm Sean. And the proof? It's in pour. different pours than these this year, last Ooh. year, 2018, just for video's sake, people watch it next year. <laughs> <laughs>